a former Gwinnett County police officer on trial for excessive force, took the stand to testify today. Robert McDonald is charged with violating his oath as an officer and assaulting a man during a traffic stop. Joe Hankey is at the courthouse in Gwinnett County where the defense rested its case today, Joe. Well, Cheryl and Jeff, in his testimony today, uh, former officer Robert McDonald said when he drove to the intersection in question, he received word that his sergeant was in a fight with a driver when he then ran up on that intersection. He says he did not see that the driver was already handcuffed. He only had a few seconds to react, and he did not intend, he says, to kick that man in the face. Moments before Robert McDonald arrived, then Gwinnett County Police Sergeant Michael Bongiovanni pulled over a driver named Demetrius Hollins. Cell phone video shows Bongiovanni pulling Hollins out of his car and then hitting him in the face. As it relates to that, I heard my sergeant yell he was in a fight over the radio, so hearing he's in a fight over the radio, that probably means somebody's going to get arrested. Bongiovanni took a plea deal to avoid prison time in this case in exchange for his testimony. Cell phone video shows McDonald then arriving with Hollins on the ground. McDonald says as he ran up with his gun drawn but finger off the trigger, he noticed Hollins on his side and looking back. It was, I was going to run up and use my foot to push his shoulder back down on the ground because I still had my weapon in my hand, not knowing if there's other people in the car, if he had a weapon. I don't know what's going on at this point. At this point, McDonald says he missed Hollins' shoulder. And as I was bringing my foot down, he moved, and my foot missed his shoulder and hit him right here on the side of the cheek. At that point, he rolled down on the ground, and I looked and saw he was, was indeed handcuffed. McDonald said using his hands to hold down Hollins instead was not an option. I considered it, but considering the fact that I had my pistol in my hands, I didn't want to, at that time, have, possibly have him reach up and grab my gun. McDonald testified he did not press his gun to Holland's head, but he held the gun near it because they were at close range and next to a busy intersection. Um, if, God forbid, you do have to take a shot, the bullet's going straight down. It's not going to hit my sergeant or an innocent motorist two cars over. Um, you know where it's going to go. The state, though, questioned McDonald's use of force by pulling his gun and not asking if the man was handcuffed or resisting as he ran up. When you come up, did you think Sergeant Bon Giovanni was in a life or death situation? I didn't know. McDonald also testified when he was running up to that intersection. He did not see Hollins actively fighting Bon Giovanni, but Hollins, he did say, was rolling onto his side. As far as having his gun drawn, McDonald said at some point it did touch Hollins' head, but he testified that he did not press it against his head. We expect to hear closing arguments in the morning from attorneys before this case is handed to the jury for them to deliberate. We'll send it back to you, Jeff. All right, Joe. 11 Alive covering this trial on air and online. Be sure to download the 11 Alive app for the full testimony and any updates that we have in the trial.